What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with an off meta squad. We got ourselves a Vikavolt Trick Room Team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Vikavolt, I believe this Pokemon is one of the coolest designed Pokemon of all time. Just look at this thing. It's a massive, giant, electric iron bug. It kind of looks like a iron, just, I don't even know. A drone I, I don't know it looks so dope and it's just so awesome and i love using it so we're rocking out with it today trying to grab some wins for you guys on the rank ladder but let's talk about vikavolt right here it's got levitate and a life orb as item making it do crazy damage it's bug and electric type with the electric terror type it's got thunderbolt it's got bug buzz it's got protect and then it's got discharge to hit everything on the field since this Pokemon is very slow, we're going to need a Trick Room Setter. And today, we're using an off-meta Pokemon. We're using Braxton. And I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't yell at me if, I, if I'm wrong, because I'm probably wrong. But we're just going to call it Braxton with Blaze and the Evil Light as item. It is Delphox's pre-evolution, so really dope Pokemon. It's got Will-O-Wisp to burn physical attackers, Flamethrower for a little bit of damage, and then it's got Trick Room and Helping Hand to help ally Pokemon do some more damage. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature Primarina, Landorus, Zamazenta, and Rillaboom. Primarina going to be a great special attacker with the Throat Spray. Landorus a great Intimidator and a Choice Scarf Pokemon. Rillaboom's going to be good for Fake Outs and Terrain Controls. And Zamazenta doing Zamazenta things with that big time defensive boost. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Vikavolt team. First match on its way, and we are going up against a Torterra squad. Now, Torterra, a dope little Sinnoh Pokemon, Generation 4, or I should say Generation 4 starter, and they're pairing it up with Miraidon right here. So this leads me to think like it's Discharge Miraidon next to Torterra due to it being ground type, but you never know. We got Vikavolt, we got Braxton. Um, who do I want to lead here? I could maybe just go like Lando for the lead. I don't think Lando would be bad, especially for Intimidates and up against, uh, what's it called? And for going up against this mere ride on that could be pretty solid for us um i definitely want to only lead braxton to get this trick room off i could go into maybe like a throat spray pokemon like you that could be pretty good who's slower as well and has a fire terror type that's not bad but do i think they're gonna leave me ride on this real question vikavolt could be good do we go vikavolt do we go with vikavolt i kind of like vikavolt here especially with levitate kind of works well it does kind of work well you know we're gonna do that we're gonna go Vikavolt, we're gonna go Braxton, we are going to bring Samacenta in the back end, and last but not least, either Primarina or Rillaboom. And looking at the scene, we gotta bring in Rillaboom, right? Terrain Control is just so massive up against Miraidon, we just have to bring in our Terrain Control Pokemon. Because if you just let Miraidon sit in his Electric Train, it's just gonna be one tap of Pokemon left and right, and that's something we don't want, so being able to have Terrain Control is just massive in Regulation G. Or against Miraidon, however you wanna say it. But let's see who they wanna end up leading. If they leave Miraidon, I think I'm just gonna hard swap my, uh, my Vikavolt into Rillaboom and then just pop a Trick Room. And it is going to be me ride on Torterra. So this is definitely a Discharge combo right here. Um, Braxton should be able to survive any Discharge coming out from here. Grassy Train definitely going to help us out. And yeah, we'll set up the Trick Room. No problem. So Trick Room from here. Bang. And we will just hard swap into the Rillaboom. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with that Terrain too. So good call for us to just pop the Trick Room. Or not pop the Trick Room. To uh, swap and go into... Uh, Robum. But Vikavolt's shiny looks dope. Is that like lime green and silver? That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Like I said, Vikavolt's design is insanely cool, but its shiny is actually even cooler. Look at that thing. It looks so dope. But imagine you've seen a bug that big. Like imagine you just like went outside and seen a Vikavolt. I think it's like maybe two foot long. Giant bug. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not going outside for the rest of my life. <laughs> but um, we switch up terrain here with Robum. And I think they gotta go for Discharge. Now they're gonna go for Volt Switch Pivot. I wonder what Torterra is doing here. That's the real question. Are you going for a ground move here? That could be terrifying. But I, I think you usually only rock like EQ. Which could be an issue because you're hard swapping. So you could go into... No, he's just gonna go into Frigger right here. Which is no big deal. He's gonna go for Rock Blast. Which is fine by me. I'm able to soak up a Rock Blast all day. He goes for Rock Blast. We do end up getting off Trick Room. I, this kind of helps out Torterra to be honest. But I think throwing out burns might be in our best interest. This thing seems to be loaded dice as well. The Braxton pops trick room. We're gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp into this uh into this tour terror slot. And we'll go from there. So we'll go Will-O-Wisp into Tour Terror. It is physical attacker. And I think just a U-turn pivot into Frigraph is probably in our best interest. 
just do some damage and try to get Vickabolt back out here. Because if I can get out Vickabolt, hmm, I would like Vickabolt. Vickabolt got that Bug Bus, do damage on the Torterra. I can also discharge if Torterra's not on the field with Life Orb and Electric Terra. We'll see a Terra pop out here right now, so we're going to use up their Terra, and it is going to go into Torterra, which is totally fine by me. He's going into the Rock Terra type, which isn't bad as long as I get off this burn. If I can get off this burn, this could be a pretty big play for us. And I miss it. Y'all, my RNG is hot dog water. It's just insanely bad. So bad. Ridiculously bad. Ungodly bad. Like, if I burn you there, like, we're thriving pretty well. We are thriving pretty well. But I'm actually happy when after Braxton instead of, uh, Rollboom. I don't think Frigraph can KO Rollboom. But Frigraph might be reversing Trickery. Let's see. No, it's going for Nasty Butt. So this thing's setting up. I don't like that. We do not like that. I'm able to U-turn Pivot out of here. Do great damage to Frigraph. Beautiful damage to Frigraph. Now I can go into my slower Pokemon, like... Vickavolt. Yeah, Vickavolt, you're coming out here. How slow are you? You gotta be pretty slow. 56. I think you should be slower than what's it called. I think you should be slower than, uh... Than everybody else. So, I could go into Rollboom. I could go into Zamazenta and just, like, protect. I could also Wide Guard next to it. That's not a bad play for us. I think I'm just going to protect him. And Terrestrialize Electric and just go for Discharge. Because Discharge will KO for Grapple all day. I'm just not sure about it. I don't think it's going to KO Torterra, but I get a Paralyzed Chance. And I could Body Press. I could definitely just go into, like, a Body Press here. But I don't want to take... Discharge damage. That's my only problem. So yeah, I'm just going to protect here. How many turns are left in Trick Room? We have three. So, I mean, that's not bad. And yeah, I'm just going to Terrasize and go into a Discharge. We have to save Rollaboom because I have to force him to go into a... What's it called? I have to force him to go into a... Uh, Miraidon just so we can swap terrain back with Rollaboom. Man, that will o would have been so good for us. Just into that Torterra. Just neutralizing so much damage, especially because they Terrasize with it. So, right now, I'm going to go straight into our Electric Terra, get after it with him. I'm going to need more Samacenta, too. I feel like we need to pick up some nice damage here, but I think Protect's a good call on him. Might be going for Rock Blast into Vickabolt, but I think we should be fine, because Vickabolt should be slower than Frigraph, which is kind of all that really matters here. It is. It's the slowest on the field, so... This charge is going to fly through here. Frigraph's going to die out, no problem. We got Life Orb, we got Stab, we got that Terra type. This charge is strong on its own. And we actually do some great damage to Torterra. And I wonder if this kills Torterra. Or paralyzes Simon to say. And it doesn't. Can you go after Zamazenta? And no, you're not. Oh man, I really probably should have just not protected Zamazenta. And just attacked, but I think we're fine here. I think we are fine because the discharge will KO this uh this Torterra next turn, which is good to know. And depending on who they go into, we could always hard swap again. The Vicabolt getting off some nice damage. We like Vicabolt here. We like Vickabolt. I might just have to take a discharge shot from my Vickabolt. Depending on who they go into. Let's see, it's gonna be Miraidon. Do we wanna swap this train or just leave it? So honestly, I feel as like you do some nice damage. I really do feel like you do some nice damage with this electric train, even if you're throwing it into Miraidon. So you know what? I'm just gonna attack here. I'm just gonna double down into into you. I'm gonna take a discharge shot. I am going to just straight up take a Discharge Shot. And just double down on the Miraidon. We're doing it. We're doing it. Discharge going to fly here. We're going to take a shot here. I'm going to say bye-bye to Torterra. How much damage are we doing to Miraidon? And actually a lot less than I thought we would. I know it resists it with both Titans, but... Still, I expect it to do a little bit more than that. I wonder if you take out Vickabolt? Or do you leave it on the field? That's the real question. Lexer Drift. You're going to go after Samazenta. Can you soak this? I don't think you can. I should have swapped. I should have swapped in the roll boom. Really hurts to see. I should have swapped in the roll boom. I should have swapped in the roll boom, but we still have it, which is not bad. It still has decent HP. I got fake out raid roll here as well. Um, and Ogre Pond's gonna be that Pokemon that comes out here. Now Ogre Pond's gonna take some mean damage to this. Ogre Pond takes some mean damage. 
And to be honest, I'd probably go for a Bug Buzz more so than anything. But there is only one turn left in Tricker, which really sucks. I think you got a Spiky Shield. I really do think Ogre Pot and Spiky Shields. I think we might want to just double down to me right in here. It's going to be my play call. I'm going to say Spiky Shields. Or follow me, one or the other. Let's see. Yep, there's Spiky Shield. Good call on Aran. Go ahead, don't protect me, Rhydon. Stay on the field. Stay here, on the field. Let's go. That's a great call on Aran. That's a great call on Aran. Because we're able to get off Bug Buzz, we're able to get off Fake Out, and we almost pick up the KO. Actually, I can go into maybe a Grassy Glide, and I don't know if we can pick up the KO. I don't know if we can pick up the KO from it. Not too sure of it, but I have to give it a try, right? I have to give it a try. Or I can just... Protect Vickable. And make sure this thing goes down. Actually, Grassy God, I don't know if Grassy God's gonna KO. I know Woodhammer will. The real question is, can he one-shot me? Maybe with like Draco Meteor. I have to go for Grassy God. I have to go for Grassy God. Bro, I don't know if it's gonna KO. You know, I'm gonna go Woodhammer here. I'm gonna play it safe, and I'm just gonna protect my Vickable. I'm just gonna protect Vickable. Someone's gotta be attacking Vickable. Someone's gotta be attacking Vickable. There's Horn Leech into Vickable. Now, the real question is are you going for Draco Meteor? And can Rollaboom survive it? Maybe we dodge it. Maybe we dodge it. You go for Electro Drift. Okay, we can soak that. That's good. That's good news for us to go for Woodhammer. Good call on Iron. We're able to soak that. This turns into a 2v1. We got U turn ready to roll. We got Bug Buzz ready to roll. He's forced to attack one of my Pokemon. So that was a great protect on RN. And a good call for us to go into Woodhammer rather than Grass Guy. Because again, I don't think Grass Guy would have KO'd. It would have been so close, and I wasn't ready to risk the match on that. So we're up to half HP. We like our moveset. We're going to send this this way, and we're just going to go for a Bug Buzz. So U turn Bug Buzz. I think both should do half. Bug Buzz would honestly KO because it's Stab. But U turn should at least do half on the Ogre Palm, which is really what we're looking for here. But I don't know, can we pull off a Bug Buzz? Can we pull off a Bug Buzz? I doubt they let me, yeah, no shot. I was gonna say, there's no chance they let me pull off a Bug Buzz. But yeah, they end up KO Vickable, who did wonders this match, picking up big time damage with Discharge. Also, Bug Buzz into that Mirai, and that was a big time read for us to so read the Spiky Shield. And this is doing insane amount of damage. Grassy Glide should finish you off, but I don't think I should even risk it. Actually, no, we're going into Grassy Glide. No, we're not. You don't have any move to really KO me. Plus, you might get some HP back due to Horn Leech. Just gonna spike each other here. Oh no. Yeah, no. I think we're fine. I think we soak up whatever he has to offer. I think we soak up whatever he has to offer. Unless you get a crit, right? There's no way Ivy Cudgel is doing enough damage. Neither is Horn Leech. You're not doing 99 damage with that. You're just not. You're just not. So I'm just gonna go into, go into another U turn. And he's gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel. We soak this all day long, correct? Yeah, easily, no problem. I don't even gotta worry about it. U-Turn's gonna finish this match off, and what a first match. Your boy coming out on top, showcasing Vic Volt match number one, and more importantly, grabbing ourselves to win. Moving on to our second match, and we're looking to go back to back and guarantee ourselves a winning breaker. We're going up against a Skarmory team with me, Rhydon, yet again. Um, they also have Golden Go, they got Volcarona, they got Iron Boulder, and Iron Crown. So really cool, odd kind of team. Very quirk drivey kind of team, I should say. Or actually, it's that. Yeah, no, they're all Quark Drive Pokemon. I was going to say, are they Protosynthesis? No, they're all pairing up with me right on. So, Terrain Control is going to be big for us. We got to bring in Rolf. That's an absolute must. But who should we lead here? Could go Braxton, could go Vickable again if we want to. Um, we definitely want to pop Trick Room because I feel like they got a faster squad than us. So, I am going to end up doing that. And we're going to end up going Vickable again, Will Boom, and Zamazenta. So, same squad. Same squad. I do like Lando, though. I do like Lando, but I need my Trick Rooms that are here. I think Skarmory could pop Tailwind. So can Volcarona, right? But a lot of Volcaronas don't run Tailwind, I believe. They usually just quiver dance up, kind of get the speed boost from that and go from there. But we're 1 0. Braxton and Vickable dominating in that last match. And we actually made a big time read that won us the match, going into the fake out and uh, fake out and bug buzz into Mirada and predicting the spiky shield. That was just such a good call for us. But they end up leading these still. We're just going to do the same thing as last match, just swap into our lovely. Uh, 
our lovely Robum, and we might want to terrestrialize our Braxton here. I don't feel like taking a mighty cleave right to the face and dying, right? The terrestrializing you in the dark might just help us out here, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Just go Trick Room with the Terra, and we got to go right into Robum. we got to go right into Rillaboom. Lovely Rillaboom, so we'll swap the Vicavolt. We'll probably just try to U-turn next turn with Rillaboom while they think we're going to fake out. And throw a burn here as well. This could be solid turn for us. This could be solid turn. There's that terrain swap. Cork Drive's gonna wear off, which is massive. And we'll Terrasize straight into a dark type into Braxton. Cool. We're just, I just don't want to die out to him. I doubt you double down to Braxton, right? Maybe? Possibly? There is a slight chance. That would be that would be brutal. That'd be brutal. But the fire stick is just so cool. Mighty Cleave's actually gonna find it this slot, which is a little weird, and get a crit. Oh man. That did some damage. That did some damage, and we should be able to soak this up. So I'm ready to U-turn pivot out of here. I'm ready to try to throw a burn. Wow, you just you guys are just doing damage. You guys are just doing damage at this point. A lot of it. A lot of it. We don't like that. that that's, that's a lot of damage there. That is a lot of damage. So I'd love to have Rillaboom for another turn. I'm going to throw Will-O-Wisp Will over into the Iron Boulder. And we're just going to U-turn out instead of faking out. Because I think he's going to swap me right up here. I really do. But yeah, hopefully will o can actually land this time. Because last match we missed the Torterra. And that was rough. So will o is going to land this time, which is gorgeous. He's going to leave me right on onto the field. And does Rillaboom go first? I hope it does. It does. So now we're able to U-turn pivot out of here. Do a little bit of damage onto the ride on. And I think our best bet is just to bring out Zamazenta. Even though it's pretty fast. I'd rather him take a Mighty Cleave rather than, than Vickable, right? I'm going to go into Zamazenta here. Zamazenta coming out here. <clears throat> Someone's going to take out Braxton, which is perfectly fine right now. I want to get out Vickable. And yeah, he's just going to Electro Drift into the slot, which is fine. So Electro Drift going to finish off you. You did perfect. Your job perfectly. Trick Room and a will o -Wisp onto a physical attacker, so I don't mind that. I can get out Vickable. I can really just start getting after it. Because I'm not worried about this, uh, this boulder too much, right? How much damage are you doing? Wow, five damage to my Zamacenta. Five. <laughs> Dude, just five damage to my Zamacenta. Um, I'm going to... I can't Terrasalize anymore. I really want to Terrasalize. But I'm gonna go into Vickabolt here. The problem is that that Pokemon right there, the Iron Boulder, is it slower than than my Zamazenta? That's the real question. And honestly, I think just going for a Protect here with you and using Behemoth Bash into it just to chip up damage is probably in my best interest. Because I don't want to just hit my Vickabolt and take it out with Mighty Cleave. I really don't want that. I really don't. So I'm just gonna end up protecting this thing. Chipping up some damage and then hoping Discharge can just KO it. Plus, we can find out the speed issue on this. And who's faster, who's slower between Zamazenta or Iron Boulder. Because I know Zamazenta is going to be slower than Miraidon. I know Vickabolt's going to be slowest in the field. Plus, they're able to swap out and get a new Pokemon in here. It's going to be Volcarona, which I don't mind. I don't mind Volcarona. Okay. I do not mind you, Volcarona. And a Witch on Iron Boulder, too. So, double swap. Wow, we could just attack. It could have been a solid turn for us. It's going to go into. Iron Crown. We know their whole team now. We know their whole team. Behemoth Bash in the fly here. How much damage is doing? Minimal. And we'll go from there. So I can just go for a Thunderbolt if I want to, which I kind of do in the Volcarona. I could also Wide Guard here. I could Discharge and Wide Guard. Because Wide Guard might help us out from like a heat wave here as well. So you know what? I'm gonna switch into that and try to look for paralyzes here as well. So I'll do that. I will go for a wide guard. And I'll play it that way. Because you're stealing psychic. Uh, I'm not really too worried about the typing. The fire typing though, like a heat wave from Volcarona, could be a little bit of a problem. So wide guard not only protects us from heat wave, it's gonna protect us from our discharge. And we're gonna look for some paralyzes here as well. Come on, give me at least one paralyze. Give me at least one of these. At least one of these bad boys. Nice damage. Any paralyzes? Any paralyzes. No, not one paralyzed. He's going to bolt switch pivot into Zamazenta, which is fine. And he's going to go into me right on. I'll just hard swap Zamazenta next turn. 
Pokerona, you going for Heat Wave? Show me you're going for Heat Wave. I'd love it. I'd love if you're going for Heat Wave. I love if you're going for Heat Wave. It's gonna need me ride on again. I mean, yeah, but it's gonna swap. Get terrain control next turn. Well, I could stay on the field. He's gonna go for a fiery dance. Wow, I really thought you were going for a fiery dance and a big bolt just takes me out. Really want the heat beat. And yeah, this one's just not looking good for us. Let's be honest here. It's just not looking good for us. We do get terrain control, but I have to make sure we don't get swept here because that's one of my rules on the channel. We don't go 0 3 and we don't get swept on a video. Or in a battle, I should say. They still have all their Pokemon. They still have all their Pokemon. And from here, I just think maybe just going at full Corona might be in her best interest, even though Body Press isn't doing anything crazy. I think he might swap me Ride on, so I'm just gonna go right after full Corona. Going right after full Corona. Who knows? You might swap me Ride on. You might protect me Ride on. This could be a good turn for us. And yeah, you are swapping me Ride on. So you want to rain control for the rest of the game. We're hoping no protects come out from full Corona, and we can just maybe KO it. Maybe KO it. Yeah, we should be able to KO it. So we're not gonna get swept here. We love it. And we actually have maybe a chance at win this game. Do we have a chance at win this game? I don't know, man. I feel like this Miradon can just take over at this point. Because they still have Iron Boulder. He is burned, though. And Trick Room is done. And how much damage can Grand Sky do into him? Not a, not a bad chunk, right? Not a bad chunk. And yeah, you're just going to go right back into Miradon here. So Miradon is going to fly out here. Um, I mean, he's probably just looking to Electro Drift, Draco Meteor, just something into me. And Cork Drive's also going to boost his Iron Boulder's attack, right? No, it's speed, so this thing's ready to cook. This thing's ready to fly. We're going to go into Grassy Glide, do some nice damage, and from here, our best option is just a, a Body Press into Miraidon. I, I would love to have Protect on uh, Robe, and this turn would have been a nice turn to Protect Robe, in my opinion. Who knows? Actually, Wilbur might be able to survive. Let's just think. Iron Boulder, you're going to hit me. And how much damage are you going to do? Because chances are, Miradon's going after my Zamazenta. So I would think Iron Boulder's going after Wilbur. But he's going to Terrasalize right here into Electric. Now, this is where things get scary. I'm pretty sure Miradon can one-tap almost anything. Even Zamazenta. Let's see. Here goes Sacred Sword. Can we soak that? Oh, why'd I go for Grassy Glide here? I thought we had, uh, we, I thought we had Grass Train. I should just went for Wood Hammer, in this case. But last year, I think KOs me regardless. Can I survive this? Yeah, no, again, this thing just KOs everything in one shot. Electric Terror in the terrain, it's game over. But I should have went for Wood Hammer here, rather than Grass Glide. I kind of, kind of made a dumb, dumb play. We actually KO'd regardless, so, actually worked fine. I was going to say, I kind of made a dumb, dumb play of, uh, thinking we saw a Grassy Terrain for some reason. But honestly, Grassy Glide actually worked out better. So that's a good call on our end. Low key. But yeah, maybe should have protected Zamazenta, but we just weren't surviving any of these shots. We really weren't. We really weren't. We weren't it, we, we didn't have enough attack power to take out this Miradon, especially after it got to rain. So GG's to our opponent. We're now sitting one and one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Moving on to our third and final match. And it looks like we're going up against a Trick Room team here. A Rangaroo. Gargonackle, Kieran White, Sableye, Porygon 2, and Iron Valiant. This actually is good for me. Considering if they're going to pop Trick Room, we're not even going to waste a slot with Braxton. We're just going to bring in our attackers. Now, who should I lead and how should I get after this? I think Throat Spray on Primarina could be pretty good because we get that special attack boost early on here. Kind of start getting after it that way. Um, Zamasenta could be good lead. Vicaful could also be solid. I mean, Primarina does have Protect, so if I want to pop Discharge any turn, I can really just start throwing it. Um, I could honestly go into maybe like Lando for the lead here as well. Especially with the Choice Scarf, just have a nice little speedy attacker early on here. And always you turn pivot out. I could drop a rock slide, maybe look for a flinch turn one. That's not bad. That is not bad. I kind of want to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Vicka Bolt here. Last but not least, I am going to go Zamazenta. We really don't need terrain control here. Fake outs obviously would be nice, but we don't need terrain control. It's not like we're versing me right on. So we're one and one looking for a win here in match number three to give ourselves a winning record. And I would love it. I would love it. They got a lot of supporting Pokemon here. So it seems like this might be just like obstruct kind of plays. I don't know. This is really odd team. A Rangaroo, P2, and Sableye all on the same team. That's odd, but I mean, I mean, they're in Master tier. It must be working for them. Must be working for them. So we'll see what they want to go into. They're going to go Kiram and Sableye, which is honestly a solid lead. You could probably run Snowscape on Sableye. 
which is looking a little scary, but I do like our, uh, I do like my Lando out here. I mean, I know ice type is a little rough for us, but I feel as if I just go into like hyper voice here, get that special attack boost. I could U-turn pivot or I could just go for a rock slide, which I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking. If Lando dies, Lando dies. I'm going to go for a rock slide, look for a flinch here. Sable, I could have fake out, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to look for the flinch here. I'm going to look for the damage and the flinch. You could fake out my Lando too. That could be tough, but I think you're setting up something. I think you're either going Trick Room or you're going... You go Fake Out in Pre-Marina, that's fine. So I am going to be able to get off a Rock Slide. Can I get a flinch? I love the damage there. I love damage there. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. No flinch. Can we dodge Blizzard? Who dodges Blizzard? Both you guys? Woo! Double dodge, baby! A little bit of RNG helping us out here. So now I will actually rip a... A Hyper Voice again and another Rock Slide. I could U-turn pivot at this point and save Lando. I could save Lando. Surprised they ain't pop a trick room. Got a really slow squad. I might want to save the Lando. I'm gonna U-turn pivot here. Actually, I'm choosing the rock slide. We're gonna we're gonna rock slide again. Laying my foot down. Laying my foot down. We're gonna we're gonna do this. You're gonna disable me. I'm gonna struggle out here. Really? He's gonna go for another blizzard, probably. Rock slide disabled. I'm gonna struggle. Oh, I don't even struggle. I don't even get that. Lander's gonna die out to that. No big deal. Wow, I really want to get off at least one more rock slide. So swap could have been good in our favor. I can still bring out some Santa, which I like. Hybrid is gonna fly here. It is going to take out the Sable Light. More importantly, give us a plus one on special attack. A little bit of throat spray action. We love it. A little bit of throat spray. So we still have Vicable. Um, I'd rather bring out Zama Santa here and try to KO Kiram before anything happens. But I feel like they're kind of looking at Prima Arena like a little bit of a threat now. Now that it has a special attack boost. So they might target it down. So protect might be a good call while Zamazenta kind of cleans up Kiram. But I wonder who they're going to go, go into. Another support Pokemon? Let's see. No, it's going to be that Iron Valiant. So I feel like these are their two big time attackers. Um, I might want to Terrasize Zamazenta. I'm not sure. I am kind of scared of close combat. But we're so bulky at the same time. We're just so bulky at the same time. He's going to boost his speed. And yeah, I mean, protect here is just definitely a call. So I'm going to protect you. Um, the Terrasalize you into poison? I don't think I do. I think just going into body press is in our best interest. I could go Behemoth Bash, but I do think body press is in our best interest. Just to finish this thing off. Just to finish you off. I doubt you have a Ghost Tower too. That would be, that'd be rough. Maybe I should have went into... I should have went into Behemoth Bash, but I feel like if it has a terror, it's got to be ice, right? It's got to be ice. A lot of Kiram's run the ice just for the extra damage support. And he's not even going to end up Terrasalizing, so I think we should be fine, because one of you guys had to be going after Primarina. You know, for Wygar, that's fine. We're not going for Hyper Voice anymore. We're not doing it anymore. It's just not happening. Your body Press going to outspeed. We're going to say bye-bye to Kiram. And now I can just start throwing Moonblast if I want Moonblast, plus one Moonblast and Iron Valiant for KOs. And I think only Pokemon you have left are support, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, it's going to be Oranguru. So Oranguru comes out here. I wish I had Iron Defense here. I can just set this up. And from here, I think we just go Dazzling Gleam. I, one, if you go for Wide Guard, that's fine. It's no big deal. And two, if you don't go for Wide Guard, we're able to just hit you. I think a Ranguru goes for follow me more so than anything, so we should attack that. He's gonna go for close combat instead. Actually doing a nice chunk of damage, and now it looks like a Ranguru might obstruct here. Is that, is that your play call? But I mean, your defense is low now, so I mean, Dazzle might just KO you being plus one, and it does pick up a double KO. So Pre Marina with Throat Spray, clutching up in match number three. We love it. We go 2 1 for today's video and pick up a nice, lovely winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a two and one winning record with this amazing off meta Vickavolt Trick Room team. I love Vickavolt so much. And Braxton. Braxton was Papa Trick Room, throwing Will O' Wisp left and right. We love that Pokemon so much. But Vickavolt, amazing with that electric tire type, Life Orb doing some big time damage with Buck Buzz, Discharge, and Thunder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.